Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Candace. I'm here on Confidential Talk. And pretty much today, I just wanted to do my makeup um, and tell y'all about my day yesterday. Why well, I got 12 hours of sleep, which is usually a good thing, but no, it wasn't a good thing for me. Oh my God, just during the bullshit of yesterday, like, yesterday was just, we, we gonna cancel yesterday, okay, y'all? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys click that notifications button so you can get notified every time I drop a video. Also, I do want you guys to tell me your opinion because I could be wrong. I could be right. I think I'm right. Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm right. I have valid points here. But let me know in the comments how you feel about the situation. Just do not come for me, y'all. Okay, I love you guys. I want y'all opinion. I value you guys' opinion. But, you know, just be respectful about it, okay? If you don't agree with me, it's okay. Let me know in the comments, okay? I want to hear your thoughts, okay? So, um, but yeah, my makeup look today, I'm just going to be doing my everyday look, something super basic. I already did my eyebrows off of camera because I just be all up in the mirror. So, I went ahead and did that already, but yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup and let y'all know what happened yesterday. So, pretty much I am dating this guy, um, that I really, really like. Um, and one of the things I love about him is he is a fantastic father, okay? A fantastic father. And, um, this is my first time actually experiencing dating somebody with a kid. So, it's been a little tough for me to balance his free time and, you know, kind of wanting the, like, steady attention that I'm always used to getting. So, what the story is, listen, he lives 50 minutes away. We take turns pretty much traveling to see each other because, I mean, 50 minutes is not really that long. Let me see. Y'all okay talking to this at the same time. Okay, 50 minutes is not that long. But, you know, for him, you know, it's a little bit long. I don't I don't really care. I don't mind driving. So, usually I'm the one that comes to travels a little bit more, especially because, you know, he works full-time. He's a father. And I work full-time, but, I mean, other than that, it's just me. So, you know, I usually don't mind doing most of the traveling. But since this whole coronavirus thing happened, he's, like, he's the opposite of me. He's, like, super, like, a germaphobe. And, honestly, you know, it's important to stay inside during this time, guys. Make sure you stay your asses in the house, okay? Um, you know, but we could travel to see each other you know especially because we we're technically a lot out of our houses for the necessities if you need to go grocery shopping or you need to go somewhere um that's actually open and available to go uh because pretty much everything is closed right now so you know but we're able to see each other so the last two times i saw him i went to go see him and y'all you know that that was two times 50 minutes there 50 minutes back i'm like okay bet so next time he gotta come see me right um no he's had his daughter pretty much the whole time so which is you know like again like i try to be as understanding as i can about that even though don't come from y'all but even though like i do kind of feel like you know i'm your girlfriend you have to learn how to balance giving me my time too okay like i that's and that's the thing it's not like i'm like oh you have to spend all this time with me you know drop your kid off and you know ditch her to you know come see me or be with me but i mean i have to kind of get some type of time too you know like some type of effort in you actually coming out to see me or you know maybe making the initiative but it's okay whatever boom he asked me to come over and, like, you know, obviously, I'm not working right now. So, it's like, whatever, you know, I'll come out and see y'all. I miss, we've been talking about how much we miss each other. And I honestly miss the hell out of him. So, I head there. And I know, like, you know, he has his daughter. And I love his daughter. Me and her have developed such a great relationship. So, I, you know, I'm excited. It's family time, you know. So, I'm driving out there. But, you know, in the back of my mind, though, y'all, I'm a little agitated. Because I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, this is third time, you know, in the row that I've had to drive out here. And, you know, yeah, whatever. So, I get to this place. I happen to... So, the wig that I'm, <laughs> the wig that I wear, the units that I'm wearing right now, um, I'm not a fan. I'm not... I'm not a fan of this hair. And... I decided to wear it because the last, you know, he hasn't seen me with it yet. And I just got it and he saw pictures of me and, you know, we've been on FaceTime and stuff. So, he likes it. He was like, you know, I like your hair like that. So, I was like, okay. Instead of taking the wig off, because I really wanted to take it off. And I was like, you know what, I'm sick of this. I was like, you know, I'm going to keep it on. 
So I do my little cap method and, you know, secure the wig and make sure it stays on. And I go there, and you know, I got something. It's it's a little warm outside. You know, it's not it's not that warm. I don't need to be dressed up with a tube top on. But of course, I'm being an extra. You know what I'm saying? I, I was feeling a tube top. I wore a tube top. Um, and you know, I thought I was I was looking cute. I was I was looking for you know, dang, you looking good. You know what I'm saying? When he opened the door, yeah, he was like, dang, it's summertime. And you know, I I know. It, you know what? It nothing you could be bad about. It, you know, I'm being a little sensitive when I say like, you know, it kind of bothered me. I was just like, you know what? I didn't drive for the third time, fifty minutes. <laughs> you know, for me not to get no type of compliment. I wore the wig. I wore my hair like you like. You know what I'm saying? My makeup popping. I thought I was looking cute. You know, I, I knew I was dressing a little summertime ish. You know, it wasn't. It's not summertime. I know I went a little overboard, but, you know, I was kind of expecting, like, you know, different reactions. So, it's like, you know, my feelings hurt, you know. I already been feeling, like, you know, lonely and trapped, you know, in my house with this coronavirus thing going on. So, I'm just needing some extra living right now. So, I'm going to take off my shoes, y'all. Why my nail broke? That's how I knew. I knew something was in the air. I was like, you know what? I don't know about today, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And my day was going cool. It, I mean, I got over there around like 4 o'clock. So, like, obviously during the day, I mean, I had a little bit of time that passed during the day. I was cool. But after my nail broke, I just, I had a bad feeling. I had bad vibes. I didn't know how the day, how, how the day was going to go. So, instantly I got an attitude. And I know that was definitely my fault. Definitely my, my bad, but I had an attitude. So... We sit and he's like trying to come up. I can tell he's actually trying to have casual conversation. He already caught my vibe. He already caught that I have attitude. And, you know, I try obviously because his daughter is there. I'm not trying to like, you know, start nothing or be on no crap. Like I'm not that type of person, y'all. I don't, I don't want y'all to think I'd be going over there arguing with him in front of his kid. No, I don't do that. I ain't that type of person whatsoever. I've never, we've never had an argument in front of her. Um, I've never, and I, I would never do something like that. But, you know, I, it, I would like some... <laughs> I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here too. I would like some extra loving or some, I mean, like I, we, we do practice not being affectionate in front of her yet, you know, cause I am just technically friend. I mean, I've been around her for a little over a year now, but still we kind of just, you know, until we really establish, establish something, which I mean, like we pretty much established, like he, he, my man, we're on the same page that we're okay that she just sees me as friend okay so i am just friend which is fine you know that's okay but you know i still just you know casual, casual conversation ain't enough okay the casual it wasn't working y'all i can't help it maybe i was wrong maybe i was right but i was just catching a vibe and my vibe was i just kind of needed a little bit more just something a little bit more like you know, maybe just asking me are you okay like pulling me aside and be like hey are you okay what's going on what's in your what's on your mind you know is there anything i could do maybe we could talk about it later once we put her to bed like you know what i'm saying just trying to comfort me i was just kind of looking for a little bit of comfort and affection and you know like i said obviously i wasn't looking for it in front of her but i think that there is different types of affection you groping on my ass which you know i love to get my ass groped y'all i love to get my booty groped but you know you groping on my butt or you know you kissing me on my cheek just, just something slight i mean it helps it definitely does help but it just wasn't enough for me it just wasn't what i needed so i ended up ordering pizza because i already knew i was going to um, blow my day. I was gonna cheat. It was a cheat day for me, so I was okay with cheating. So I ordered some pizza for us. Went to go pick it up. Wanted to go get some fresh air anyway, because I knew I had an attitude, and so I was trying to come back with a better one. And we come back, we eat a little bit, and then he kind of makes a comment like, "You know, the last two times you've been here, you've I've been kind of feeling like you're bored or something, like, you know." And then he goes, "So I'm I'm like." At that moment, I'm like, okay, I didn't know how to re really respond because it's not that I'm bored. It's just that I kind of wanted more from him at that moment. I wanted him to just try to find out what was my problem. So before I could really even respond, which I didn't really know what to say anyway, so it was going to take me a second. But he just goes, you know, if you, you want to go, you can go.
the fuck? What do you mean? I just drove 50 minutes. <laughs> or he was like, I could, he didn't say I could go now. It was just like more of a like, if you don't want to spend a night, you don't have to type thing. Okay, I might be exaggerating a little bit, y'all. I'm sorry. But, you know, it pissed me off. It did. And like, at that moment, I couldn't even like, I, I couldn't express how I felt because his daughter was there and it wasn't the right time to really just fully just tell him how I felt even though like it was literally on the tip of my tongue and I just wanted to just like slap him it's like what the fuck I just drove all the way out here I just need you to hug me okay kiss on me love on me a little bit okay just do something or ask me if I'm okay just pull me aside instead of sending me home or let me know how I don't need I don't I don't have to be around you could have just literally just been like what's going on you know what i'm saying and i think in a relationship that's the type of communication we need which i understand on my end i definitely you know i can understand where he's coming from like i feel like i came over there maybe with a little bit of an attitude and that's what it how it just came off i came off with some negative energy and you know maybe he just didn't want to deal with it i mean he already like literally has to take care of his daughter which his daughter is really good she's a really good kid but you know it's still a lot of energy to be a parent not that I know any about anything about that, but you know, just kind of seeing like everybody around me, like I understand that's a little bit tough. It's draining. So, you know, maybe I could have properly communicated or came over later when you know it was closer to her bedtime, where you know we could have the conversation after she went to bed. So I understand maybe where I would have went wrong. But you know, y'all know I left. Okay, I was not, but I was like, oh no, you did. I didn't drive all the way out here. To not get the comfort I needed to only be told that I can't go home. Like, nigga, please. I know I could go home. I know I could go home. You, I'm going to show you going home. I'm going to go home right now. Uh, yeah, I definitely went home, y'all. Um, I mean, I love him. You know, we'll definitely work it out. You know, but I definitely want to be able to properly communicate, you know, how I feel in my side of things. You know, like, I understand... <laughs> I don't understand you're a good father and all that, but you know, like, you know, I think it's just uh, he has to learn how to balance his time with me too. You know, I don't know. We gonna see y'all. I don't really like to talk about my personal, super personal business. It's kind of hard for me because I am confidential talking. You know, the confidential talk concept is for people to feel comfortable being open and, and about what they got going on in their lives and you know being comfortable talking about the the uncomfortable conversations which is really more to towards uh sex and vaginal health and stuff like that because i feel like it could be such an awkward conversation which it truly truly shouldn't be but you know this is definitely a comfortable place so i know i feel like i can open up to you guys so i'm glad i was able to talk to you guys so yeah let me know what y'all think like you know, I drove all back home. I literally forced myself to go to bed. Like, I went to bed. I got here. I got back home around, like, 7. And I literally made myself go to bed. And I slept all the way up until, like, I woke up a few times throughout the night. But I definitely did something to make my ass go back to sleep. Because I was just not trying to think about this nigga. Because you know I had him on my mind all night. It was tragic. But, you know, yeah, like, let me know what y'all think. It's about communication. I think that it's, you know, I'm going to have to have a conversation with him about us working on having better communication with each other. Okay, y'all. So, my face is done. You know, I had some um, mascara that I really, really liked. I like beauty supply store like makeup. Not all of it. No. I well, my other makeup is from like the drugstore because I have like L'Oreal. I use Maybelline. So like I use pretty much drugstore stuff. But I can't find mascara that I like, which is from Ruby Kiss. Okay, so I applied my lashes um off of camera because I was just filling this story and I think I told y'all the story quicker than I did my makeup. <laughs> so, um, I just go ahead. I just went ahead and just applied my lashes off of, um, off of camera. But, yes, I'm now going to add my highlighter. But, yeah, make sure you guys comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your guys' honest opinions. At the end of the day, you know, I'm definitely not 
saying, oh, you know, he could have, he could have this, he could have that. I definitely probably could have did better too. And I kind of probably shouldn't have been as dramatic by leaving and just kind of, you know, trying to be a better sport and, you know, waiting until the proper time to be able to having that proper conversation. So, you know, but I have to wrap this up, guys, because I ain't got no no more memory and I got to go. But this is pretty much the finished look. I'm not really doing too much else. Um, I do not like this wig, guys. But it could last me a few more days on my head. So... I'm gonna try to make it look good, honey. Let me see, let me spray my face. Alright, so I'm gonna try to boost this bad boy. better like a little bit better when it's like wet well at least me I think it's just my face shape I just don't really like this volume with this cut I don't know but thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye